Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 18th, 2022. Well, last week, those bears gained a little bit of an advantage um, with prices falling below the 50-day moving average on the SPY, the QQQ, and the IWM. However, those bulls really worked hard to defend the 50-day moving average on the diamonds, leaving us with just a little bit of uncertainty as we head in to um, an, a week um, with earnings ramping up. So how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. Uh, this could be an interesting week with earnings rolling out. We have the uncertainty of uh, what's going on over there in Ukraine as Russia seems to be gaining ground. We also um, have that uncertainty of the China lockdowns and the future supply chain problems that are likely as a result. So what does that mean for today? Well, I tell you what, um, we're going to have probably a challenging week ahead. We've got a lot of data coming our way. We've got a lot of um, uncertainty out there that we're going to have to work through um, over the course of, the, of this week. So let's take a look at these index charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, let's take a look right here at the Dow. Uh, clearly, we had broken that downtrend to the upside, but, um, the bigger downtrend, but unfortunately, this little downtrend right here continues to plague us. We can see right where those sellers come in, and as you can see, we've got this resistance in the chart that actually extends over through this area, and we're trying to hold on to that 50-day moving average here in the diamonds. Uh, chart. If we take a little bit closer look, notice we've got a little bit of price support right through here that we've been working really hard to hold on. But unfortunately, with this downtrend in play, we really can't get bullish on this until we break out, prove to hold um, for that upside move. And if those bears were to were to uh, continue to engage here and we push that diamonds below the 50 day moving average, well, that could be a problem and we would likely seek this next level of price support in that chart. Again, if the bulls can push through, watch these price levels as we move higher um, in the market. Then let's take a look at our SPY. Now, unfortunately, SPY has a little bit of a problem here in that we have failed our 50-day moving average. And we've put in a pattern that I, it's my personal named pattern, I guess, is called an Oreo cookie, where we have a dark candle, a white filling there, and another dark candle, making that an Oreo cookie. Now, typically, Oreo cookies tend to lead to a little bit more downside. And this morning we were looking at futures looking substantially lower, but they have recovered um, um, in the pre-market pump up here. So we'll wanna watch that closely, but this possible failure here at the 50 day moving average could be a problem for us as we move forward. Remember, we've been dealing with some price resistance in the chart that we just haven't been able to quite break through to the upside. Um, and once again, I think for us to get confident that we are, we are going to successfully deal with some of these price levels in the chart, we need to see the, um, this index break above that downtrend, hold the higher low, and then maybe push on through. So right now we're gonna have to worry about these resistance levels above as we continue to slide a little bit south. And we're going to wanna watch carefully because if we lose this area of price support in the chart, then it might be a fairly quick trip down into here if those bears really start to become aggressive. So watch that carefully. And then of course our QQQ continuing to struggle with the same type of Oreo cookie pattern um, sitting right here and a failure of its 200 or 50 day moving average um, as well, running into some issues and problems um, as bond rates continue to rise pretty dramatically, even here this Monday, um, bond rates continuing to add some pressure to the NASDAQ. Um, we continue in this downtrend, unable, unable at this point to break through these resistance levels in the chart. 
However, we do have a little support level right here that's trying to hold on to that NASDAQ. But I tell you, if, if that were to fail, if those bears were to become um, aggressive in here, we run that risk that we could retest the lows here in the market pretty quickly. So um, just keep a close eye on that. Um, NASDAQ's not looking all that healthy. And remember, to get bullish, we need to see this push up through that downtrend hold that higher low before we can really start to resume any uptrend here in the NASDAQ. And if we look at our Russell, very similar situation here in the Russell. We had a pretty good rally on Friday initially in the Russell, but we continue to be plagued by um, substantial price resistance um, in the chart, continuing to move in that downtrend under its 50-day moving average and you can see um, that we run a relatively high risk that we could retest the lows here in the IWM index. So watch that carefully. Failing here at the 50-day moving average with that uh, black candle right here does not bode all that well for um, the Russell. So just keep a close eye on that. And then if we take a look at our VIX, our VIX did rally a little bit on Friday. We've got this little teeny tiny little uptrend and again kind of matches the little teeny tiny downtrend that we've got in the indexes. We ended up holding above that 20 handle in the chart and as you guys know I've got that marked out here this uh, fairly substantial support area around that 20 area that we'll want to keep an eye on. But we have reacted uh, positively to that 25, 26 area in the chart that's served as resistance before. So we're kind of locked in this um, no man's land, a little bit of uncertainty um, heading into these earnings um, this week. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. And then if we take a look at our T2122, well, our T2122, remember, it does not give us um, direction um, in the market. And notice that we kind of finished Friday. Well, just kind of right in the middle, like we just didn't know what to do here. So we're stuck here in the middle on that T2122, which means if those bulls can find reason for inspiration, we've got plenty of room to move to that upside. If the bears find reason for inspiration, we've got that about the same amount of um, area that we could move on down here in our T2122. So watch that carefully. Um, it's hard to know who's going to grab a hold around earning season. So uh, whether those bulls or bears will gain the advantage, we'll have to just wait and see. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now T2108 pulled back on Friday, but the good news is, is we held. We didn't break down through that low of the day before. We still have that resistance above in the chart. Obviously, we continue to move in this downtrend, but there is that little bit of hint of hope that those bulls are stiffening up here just a little bit, trying to hold those areas. But if we were to fail on through um, that low of last week, look for a test down in here. And if those bulls can grab a hold, then watch for that opportunity that we could move back up here for another shot of testing that downtrend. Um, T2107, very much the same um, in that chart. Where we've got this major long downtrend that we've been working on, but notice that Friday, even though we did pull back a little bit, we didn't fail that low of earlier in the week. So we're still holding on to that support level. So fingers crossed, if you're a bull, watch that closely to see if that can push up there and rechallenge that downtrend. If uh, you're a bear, you want to see that support start to break and us pushing on down. Let's take a look at our T2101. And once again, guys, T2101 is just kind of um, random here, um, whipping back and forth a little bit. And I think that's largely continuing to be, um, we can't really get a whole lot of momentum momentum in T2122 or 2101 when we really don't see volumes um, showing lots of strength. We're really anemic on those volumes, which puts us into that situation of those big whipsaws, potential overnight reversals as we head in to um, our um, you know, ramp up to earnings here. So watch that closely. Now, how about we take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar 
kind of really light today on what's going on here. We've got um, housing uh, market index that will be coming in. We do have James Bullard speaking after the close today. We'll want to watch that because he tends to be one of the most aggressively hawkish members of the Fed. So watch that close. As we progress throughout the week, we have a pretty light week. Notice we have housing starts and permits. We're going to get existing home sales. Um, quite a few Fed speakers in here this week. And um, then Philly Fed uh, might be one of the bigger um, reports for the week that we'll want to keep an eye on on Thursday and then our PMI composites on Friday. So a, a rather light week on that economic calendar, which is going to probably uh, make us um, uh, pretty sensitive to these earnings reports um, that are going to be rolling out this week. Now we have about 50 or so 60 companies um, on the economic calendar, but really there's less than 20 that are confirmed for the day. Let's take a look, quick look at a few of those. And guys, let me let me, you know that as we ramp up on these earnings, there will be no way I can cover them all. So if you want to catch the full list of notables, make sure you click the link below the title of the video. That'll take you over to the morning blog where you can get that full list of notables. Uh, first off, um, we'll want to keep an eye on J&J &J today. J&J &J has been challenging. Um, new highs here on the market. You can see we broke out of resistance in here. We've been waiting to see whether we can push on through here. We'll want to watch that closely. J&J &J coming up on earnings. We'll want to watch that. Now, I think there is a little bit of confusion on the earnings in here. I've got one source saying that J&J &J reports today. I've got um, TC2000 saying it reports tomorrow. So I'm not 100% sure on that. We'll want to watch that one closely. There's a, some data confusion seem to be going on between uh, vendors here. So um, then we have Netflix. Um, keep an eye on Netflix. Now, once again, I think this one is tomorrow um, in the report, but we do have that little uncertainty um, in here with some data. I don't think this has been confirmed for today, but you'll want to uh, kind of keep a close eye on that. Um, the one that I do believe is happening today is BAC and may have already come out. We'll want to watch BAC. We've got um, Halliburton that we'll want to be watching um, coming up here. You can see that shows the 19th, so we'll want to keep an eye on the, some of these. There's just a little bit of confusion in some of these, so watch that closely. Now, on that notable list, you may see um, a repeat of some of these names tomorrow if they don't actually report. There's just that little bit of a data concern out here uh, that we've got going. Um, IBM, IBM is one we'll want to be watching as well. Let's take a look at a um, few of these charts that uh, could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, let's take a look at um, take a look at um, the fact that this channel continues to grow and I owe that 100% to you guys. Obviously, I do my best job to put out some good quality content here in the channel. But if you find these videos to be helpful, if you can continue to give me that hand, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And I just gotta say thank you so much to everyone who continues to click those thumbs up buttons, leave those brief comments. The channel continues to grow beyond my wildest uh, uh, thought that anyone would like this kind of content that's not full of prediction and hype. And thank you so much to everyone who does support the channel. You guys are awesome. I truly appreciate it. And if you continue to, um, uh, or, or not a member of Hit and Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options, want to continue to help the channel, you can click that link below the title of the video for Buy Me a Coffee, and that continues to support the channel as well. Thank you so much, everyone. Let's take a look at a few charts setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you should do your own due diligence. Make sure very, very uh, carefully that these fit your trading plan and give you that um, security that you are following your own rules. You should never, ever follow anyone's 
trade ideas. Let's take a look at a few charts that are relatively interesting. Take a look at silver. Um, silver has been showing a pretty substantial move and, and as you can see we're holding some support in here finally on some of these precious metals. Keep an eye on that. We're trying to hold up in here that opportunity that this could continue to move on higher. Looks pretty good and I'm going to have to go um, on the same um, kind of thing here with gold. Notice gold continues to rally. We're breaking through resistance levels, continuing to move up. Gold is showing that uncertainty in the market as our bonds continue to um, continue to rise. Um, if you take a look at um, our 10-year bonds, our 10-year bonds are surging um, up, um, continuing to surge up here this morning. Um, and our 30-year bonds, although moving up, not quite as strong uh, this morning. Um, so we do have that little bit of concern that we could once again see some inversion. But but those bond rates continue to rise. And that's going to continue to make it very, very difficult for the NASDAQ. NASDAQ has a very um, strong sensitivity to those rising bond rates. So we'll want to keep an eye pretty closely on that um, and that potential selling that um, I've kind of warned that we could test some of these levels down here. And let's take a look at a few of, of these stocks that um, continue to show lots of strength. Let's take a look at um, Archer Daniels. Archer Daniels continuing to run in this big move to the upside. As we know, food prices continue to be a concern and Archer Daniels just continuing to rally to the upside. Watch for that next opportunity for ADM to move on up. And you can add others to that list like CF, um, MOS, th um, those mosaic, those um, ag related type stocks continuing to show lots and lots of strength, continuing to break through resistance levels to the upside. Now on the short side of things, you may want to be taking a look at some of the financials. Financials continue to show quite a little bit of weakness. And as you can see here in this chart on XLF, if I throw the moving averages in there, we've got a 50 crossing down through the 200 here in um, the financials, continuing to show weakness. And even after those reports last week, we continue to struggle here um, as banks and the, uh, those financial institutions, even Jamie Dimon, Dimon warming, warning that there could be some trouble ahead here for the market. So just watch that closely. Usually to get very bullish in the market, we need strong financials. And so far, I'm not seeing that here in the chart. So if you're looking for any short trading, you might want to look at some of these financials that are struggling in here. Notice Goldman Sachs popped up here um, last um, um, last Friday, gapped up, but reversed on the day, not showing a whole lot of strength here in some of these charts. And we're seeing that um, in, in a lot of them. WFC showing a lot of weakness. Uh, Citibank has shown tremendous weakness. So keep a close eye on those as we continue to move along here. A lot of weakness in that financial sector. However, on the bullish side, if we take a look at things in the utility sector, my goodness, XLU has been really, really strong. Now we're getting a big pop and drop in the pre-market here on utilities, but watch this area where we've got this nice trend, that little hold in here. Watch for some of those stocks and those utilities continuing to show strength. And then of course, if we take a look at the um, um, oil and gas exploration area, which shouldn't be a surprise with um, energy prices continuing to show so much strength. Um, notice this nice upside trend here in XOP. Keep an eye on that. We'll want to watch that for those next upside moves here in some of these stocks. And if you drop into the list that makes up XOP, you can see lots of trades just showing tremendous bullishness to the upside. So keep a close eye on those showing lots and lots of bullishness in that sector. Um, XLE would be the same thing. Um, lots of bullishness as we continue to push these oil prices higher and higher with the uncertainty that we have here in the market. And I got to tell you, there's been an awful lot of conversation here recently that um, 
uh, we have peaked in inflation um, at this point. And I got to tell you, I, I don't see that. Um, when I continue to see commodity prices, when I continue to oil, gas, um, um, uh, gold, silver, uh, food-related products continuing to move up, that does not bode well for the fact that we have peaked in inflation. As a matter of fact, I think it um, at, at the moment continues higher. So watch that closely. Other places you might want to look, take a look at some of those um, uh, safety type plays here in the market. Quite a lot of volatility here in Hershey this morning, but watch that closely. Hershey, Hershey's been moving up strongly. We're seeing these um, defensive sector stocks. Oops, there we go. Defensive sector stocks, Coca-Cola, uh, PepsiCo, um, holding up quite well and moving up in strong patterns. Now, they're getting a little bit of shove here to the downside this morning, so we'll want to watch that closely. But, boy, those have been doing quite well here in the market um, as we continue to just have that little bit of worry about the market and we see um, possibly that institutional rotation more towards safety. So be really, really careful. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here. Be safe, be careful, have an awesome day, and we'll see you right back here bright and early, bright and early Tuesday morning. Wish you all the best.